Dr. Ward, go right ahead. Hi, Emma. Um, I know you guys have some players sitting right now, um, but of the players who have returned, uh, do you feel like you guys are a lot more confident now that you won a championship last year? Um, well, we are confident, but this is also a new team. So we have a lot of new players that we have to uh, introduce to our system, uh, how we want to play. Um, we've had a couple of team practices now, so we know each other already better, but I feel like we can still get better at that. Um, so that's basically what we're doing now, just playing and getting to know everybody, how we play. Uh, so I think last year has nothing to see with this year. Though. Okay, Kareem Copeland. Hey, Emma. Um, I wanted to ask, you know, like we said, so many new people, or not necessarily new people, but um, some losses, some, some people that were major contributors last year are not with you now. How is the growing process with, like you said, almost a new roster? How are you approaching it? Uh, Mike said you've been extra aggressive in practice, so are you taking on more just knowing that you'll have to do more? Mm, I'm approaching, well, it's a special season. So um, some of us are here, some of us are not. Um, so we are here with the team that we have. Um, we're only focusing on that. So. Um, We've all not played for a couple of months, uh, so I'm just approaching this. Okay, we're gonna have fun, and we're gonna do, we're gonna give it our, our best, you know, and getting better throughout the season. Um, so I think we just need to see what happens in the next days, next week, for me to say, okay, this is how we're gonna do it. Um, I've not seen the gym yet, um, so I'm just, you know, here living life in a bubble and playing basketball. Um, I'm just happy to play basketball again. So that's basically how, how I am uh, approaching everything right now. Just looking forward to the next practice, uh, doing as much as possible and enjoying it. You know, that's it. Christy Winter-Scott. Emma, have you had an opportunity to communicate with Elena and the situation that she's going through? Um, well, she's, we've like texted or um, just all this social media stuff right now. Um, I just can say that we all support Elena in her decision. Um, and she should be able to just decide for herself uh, what she would be capable of doing. I mean, what would be dangerous for herself or, um, not healthy to do. So we fully support it and I hope that everything uh, will get okay for her. You know. David Aldridge. Hey Emma, um, I was just wondering uh, how, how odd is it that, you know, the team went through so much last season and gained so much experience en route to winning a championship and yet you really, it's going to be hard to use any of that experience this year because so many of the players are gone and you're in a bubble and it's, there's no home court advantage and everything is just kind of turned on its head. Exactly, but it's for everybody like that. It's not only for us. Um, I mean, I know some teams are really like 100% the same players like last year. Um, it's not for us like that. Um, so... We're just going to see how it is. This is one of the first years that I've really had a new team like this. So um, it's good that some of us are here and we can keep building on that. So the thing that we learned from the past few years is how to take responsibility and how to be more of a leader. Um, so that's what we are going to try to do, the ones that have been here last year, um, and just try to take the others with us. So. It's very odd to have all that success last year and then coming here. But like I said, it's just for everybody. But it's the same thing. Nobody's going to have home court advantage. So it's going to be our team, just us, um, that have to put confidence in ourselves. Lindsay Gibbs. Yeah, hi, Emma. Um, what went into your decision to opt in this season? Obviously, in Europe, I think it's safe to say they're handling the pandemic a bit better than uh, over in the United States. So, wondering how it felt, like if you ever considered opting out for health reasons or for other reasons, and um, yeah, just what, what went into making that decision for you? 
Um, I had to think a lot about that decision because um, I knew some of us were maybe not going to play. Um, the I just see everything as a big adventure. Um, <laughs> So if I was not going to come, like the season would have passed, happened anyway, um, and then I was not going to be here and be part of it. Um, so I just want to do as much as different stuff as possible in my career, and this is one of them. I hope it's only going to happen one time. And before I knew that uh, this is going to be an adventure, good, bad, I don't know yet, but it's an adventure in any kind that's going to make me, uh, going to be a big experience for me. And so far, like, I like it. Um, it's basketball again, so I miss. I really miss that a lot. But next to that, I'm seeing all kinds of animals. I've never been to Florida before. I mean, I'm not going to see anything of Florida, but um, I'm here, you know. Um, and like I said before, we're just going to have fun and see how everything goes. So I'm part of it. That's a big reason for me to come here and um, just see how it goes. But later is going to be a real nice story story to tell that I was part of that one special, special season um, in the WNBA. Um, I was just going to laugh about it. Uh, Christy Winter Scott. Emma, Coach Chibo said that you guys had a really good practice today. Um, what message would you give the Mystics fan about the energy that you have on the court with a lot of new faces, but the energy is is what your team over the edge to win the championship at home last year in front of the great fans. What message do you want to give the fans? Um, just I know you, you can't be in the gym with us, but we still hear or see you. Um, so it's, they should like keep watching our games uh, online. There's plenty of ways to watch our games. I think. Um, so, like, let us know that you still support us, that you're there, you're watching us. Um, like, let us feel that you're behind us. Um, and, and I miss them. I really miss them. I was looking forward, uh, I was really looking forward this year to coming to America and seeing all the fans again, but that's not happening. Um, so. How about that? And, and what made the practice a, a really good one today? Like Coach said, what made it so Um, The rhythm. Um, I felt like the past few days, we had to like kind of explain everything. And today was uh, a little bit up and back. And we could just play, you know, uh, we started to get each other. And um, like the transition from defense to offense and back um, was pretty good, actually. And you can see it's good practice that we just keep moving and it gives us a good feeling like you can score, but just score in a way that that was not supposed to be how it like the plan was. But now we had like some passes, uh, moving, give and go, and then we score. So it gave us a good feeling to like just see the first time signs of the real chemistry. Uh, any more questions for Emma? All right. Thank you so much, Emma. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Our next availability will be this Friday. Uh, I'm sure I'll see some of you then. Have a good day.